Hi, I'm James Montemagno, Developer Evangelist at Xamarin, and today I'm gonna to show you how to leverage your C-sharp and .NET skills to build native iOS, Android, and Windows applications with Xamarin and Visual Studio 2015. First, we'll take a look at the entire Xamarin platform and everything Xamarin has to offer, and we'll see just how to build out those native iOS and Android apps all in C-sharp inside of Visual Studio 2015, and also we'll take a look at some popular code sharing strategies to leverage 50, 60, 70% more of code across all platforms. And of course, I'll show you just where to get started. Now the Xamarin platform is what you'll be using to build and craft beautiful native iOS, Android, and Windows applications and sharing code across all those great platforms inside of Visual Studio. Now our approach to mobile development is extremely unique. We need to be to build and a shared C-sharp backend for your mobile applications, all your business logic, models, view models, RESTful service calls, SQL databases, things that are common across all the platforms. And then we give you the tools inside of Visual Studio to craft great native experiences and user interfaces for iOS, Android, and Windows and access all of the native APIs. Now, if you're a Windows developer today, the .NET libraries are gonna look very familiar to you system data, link, XML, things that we know and love as .NET developers. And when you go to a new Windows platform, phone, store, desktop, you get some platform-specific APIs to mess around with, like phone or storage. And you can think of it the same when you use Xamarin to build out iOS and Android apps. You still get all the .NET goodness, such as data and link and XML, but we give you 100% API access on both iOS and Android for all the APIs. And then you get to take advantage of C-sharp features like link, async await, lambdas, delegates, events, things that we know as C-sharp .NET developers. And of course we do the same thing over on Android, but with the Android APIs. Now we have great tooling inside of Visual Studio to get you up and running with our iOS designer for Visual Studio to craft great iOS user interfaces. And of course our Android designer built right into Visual Studio 2015. Now, when you install 2015 for the very first time, it's super simple to get started with Xamarin. Simply select the custom install option, and that will bring you to this next screen, and under cross-platform mobile development, you'll see Xamarin. Simply install Xamarin as part of your installation, and we'll take care of the rest. Now, if you already had Visual Studio 2015 installed, simply head over to xamarin.com download for our universal installer, and we'll take care of everything for you to get you up and running building those cross-platform mobile apps. Let's take a look at just how easy it is to get up and running inside of Visual Studio 2015 with Xamarin to build native iOS, Android, and Windows apps all in C-sharp. Here I am inside of Visual Studio 2015. Now I've already created my project, but if you want to get started, simply select File, New Project, and this will bring up the project dialog. When you have Xamarin installed, you'll see Android and iOS project templates for a blank Android app, Android Wear application, even a web view or OpenGL app. And under iOS, you'll find Apple Watch, other extensions, and of course, iPad and iPhone applications to get you up and running building a single iOS or Android app. But to start to build a cross-platform mobile app, under mobile apps, you'll find blank applications with either a portable class library or shared project. Now I've selected a blank app, Native Portable, and named it New App. Now we'll see in our project dialog, we have a blank new application with our shared code in our portable class library, an Android application, an iOS application, and a Windows Phone application, all referencing the same shared code. Now at this point in iOS, I can go in to my Add References, go to any of my assemblies, and bring in popular libraries that I know and love, like system.json, system.http, or system service model. Now I've selected and double tapped on main.storyboard. Our storyboard is an overview of our entire application. And this is where you'll be creating your native iOS user interfaces inside of Visual Studio with our iOS designer for Visual Studio. Here you have a full toolbox available for you with every single native control in iOS. So if you wanted to bring in a switch, just go ahead and bring it over, drag and drop it on. Here I have a button, and every time I click this button, I want to just simply increase the count. I can come down to my property window, come down, maybe rename this and say click me, and we'll see the designer update in real time. If I want to add a click event, simply double click. 
And now we've added a click handler right in our code behind of our UI view controller. I have a little bit of code here, a little public uh, integer with a get set. We'll set it using some C sharp six properties, and then I'll create a method called increase count. Now instead of using a string format, we'll use a brand new C sharp six syntax, and we'll say you clicked this many of times. There we go. And of course, we'll want to increase our count ahead of time. Now in our click handler, we can say button click set title, and we'll simply pass in the string. And say increase count. for the normal state. So now whenever we click that button, we'll increase the count, get a new string using C Sharp and C Sharp 6 features. Now in our toolbar, we'll see some brand new dropdowns. We can see here, I have my iPhone 5S selected. And if I had a physical iPhone plugged into my Mac, I'd actually see it in that list. We have other toolbar options here for iOS to ensure that you're up and running connected to your build host. I've selected the iPhone 5S in my dropdown. I can simply start debugging. This will build and compile my native iOS application and bring it up right on my iOS simulator. Here we go, our iPhone simulator is up and running. I have my click button, and now every single time I click, we increase the count, and we have a new string that's set to our button text. And now, of course, I have my switch that I put here in the designer. But what about Android? Let's take a look at our new app.android. Here we have resources, and if I zoom in, we can see it has all the native Android resources, such as drawables, layouts, and values. And layouts here are all of our XML overviews of our single pages. Main.AndroidXML uh, gives us a little button that says, hello world, click me, but I still have access to all the toolbox and UI Android widgets, and of course, all the properties down here as well. I can see what this looks like in landscape mode or in portrait mode, different versions of Android, I can see the actual source and the code behind. Now, every single Android XML has some code behind it as there. So here's the main activity.cs. We have the same exact code that we saw over on iOS. We have our public count, get set, increase count, and here we simply find the view by ID and increase that count and set that to the button text. I'll set the Android application as my startup. And here we'll see any of the Android emulators you have installed when you installed Visual Studio. And I also have a physical Android device plugged in. I'll simply start debugging, and this will launch a debug session right on my device. Here we go. I have the button. I can simply click on it. Now I set a breakpoint in my C Sharp code behind. And here we go. Sure enough, a full breakpoint. I can get all the IntelliSense that I want, including looking at the native Android widgets. I'll go ahead and remove that breakpoint and continue on. And we can see now, as I increase my count, building out native iOS and Android applications, all in C Sharp inside of Visual Studio 2015. We just saw how to get started inside of Visual Studio 2015 to build out native iOS and Android applications, all in C Sharp. But what about code sharing? Let's take a look real quick at some popular code sharing strategies that will enable you as a C-sharp developer to share 50, 60, 70% more code across all of your platforms. Now, I love portable class libraries. They enable you to build a single assembly to target multiple platforms. Simply select what you want to target, such as iOS, Android, Windows Phone, or Windows Store, and write all of your code in one project and share it across all your platforms. You can combine that with the power of NuGet to bring in popular libraries such as JSON.NET and HTTP Client or Azure Mobile Services to bring these into your own portable class libraries and projects to add great functionality. In addition to portable class libraries and NuGet, we also have the ability to use shared code projects. Introduced in Visual Studio 2013 and available in 2015, it's a drop-dead simple way of sharing code across all of your different platforms. Let's take a look at these popular code sharing strategies to build out great native iOS, Android, and Windows applications inside of Visual Studio 2015. Here we are back in Visual Studio 2015. We just saw how to build out those native iOS and Android applications, but what about sharing code? When we created our application, it automatically created a shared portable class library for us, and it gave us a class. Let's see if we can share some code across our different platforms. Now we have this method here called increase count that's in our view controller. So let's go ahead and move that method. 
and go into our class that's in our shared code and paste it in there. It's the same code that we're using on iOS. Now, in our view controller, we can simply declare our class, which right now is just doing some business logic and increasing the count, but it could be RESTful service calls or SQLite databases, or all of our models or view models. Then it can simply call shared and increase count. Now I can head over to my main activity, and my Android application have the same shared code with my button click handler and call that shared code. Now, what we can see here is that our, all we're doing is referencing our shared portable class library, and the same thing is true for our Windows Phone application. If I drop down my references, I have my new application. I could go to the code behind on my main page, and sure enough, if I come up and type in shared class and say my class, I have access to all of the same properties and methods in my shared code. Now I'm sharing code across iOS, Android, and Windows, all from a single portable class library. But what about a more complex application? Let's take a look at the Xamarin Store application. I'll pull it up for both Android and iOS. The Xamarin Store application is a pre-built application template that you can download and get up and running and even order a free C-sharp shirt. You can browse shirts for both iOS and Android, select your size, and even place an order. It has great animations. But what about this application? How is it structured? Well, let me flip over to my other instance of Visual Studio. And the Xamarin Store application has an iOS, Android, and a shared project. And our shared project has all of our business logic, our models, view models, and RESTful service calls with our client. Here, for instance, is our product with different product sizes, names, descriptions, and our web service. Our web service is going out, authenticating our user, logging them in all asynchronously, and getting our product list and deserializing everything with JSON.net. I could come into my Android application, pull in more NuGet packages, or go to our component store and add more components, which is a hand-created list of great libraries for the, your business logic and your user interface. Here I could browse and add SAP or Signature Pad or Azure Mobile Services. I've already added it here to my application, so now right in my shared code, I could come into my usings and say using Services. Now I can access everything I know and add a great backend to this application. And that's just how simple it is to get up and running, building out great native applications and sharing code across all the different platforms. Now we just took a look at some popular code sharing strategies inside of Visual Studio 2015 with Xamarin to share code across iOS, Android, and Windows. And with Xamarin, you're always up to date with the latest and greatest technology. We've been shipping same-day support for iOS since iOS 5, and it's not just about phones and tablets anymore. We also have full support for Apple Watch, Android Wear, Google Glass, and all the great Amazon devices such as Fire TV enabling you to take your C-sharp and .NET code to brand new emerging devices. Now, we took a look at the Xamarin platform today, which is just part of Xamarin as your complete mobile solution. Because we think about, not just about building and designing iOS and Android applications, but what about the testability? Of course, you'll test your business logic with NUnit or XUnit unit tests, but what about the user interface? How do you ensure a great user experience across the tens of thousands unique devices in the market? Well, that's where Xamarin UI Test and Xamarin Test Cloud come in. Build C-sharp automated user interface scripts with Xamarin UI Tests and ship those to the Xamarin Test Cloud, where you can test your iOS and Android applications across thousands of physical devices. But what about after you ship your apps to the App Store? How do you ensure that you're getting feedback from your users with crash reports and analytics? Well, that's where Xamarin Insights comes in, enabling you to monitor your applications for iOS, Android, and all Windows platforms from just a single line of code. And we have great places and resources to get you started, not only with great documentation, but with live interactive instructions with Xamarin University, where you hop online and interact with real Xamarin University instructors to become a fully certified Xamarin developer. And Xamarin University offers a full free 30-day trial to get you up and running to build out great cross-platform native applications with Xamarin and Visual Studio 2015. 
Head to Xamarin.com slash university to learn more. And of course, if you just want to learn more about Xamarin, head over to Xamarin.com and to download the store application and other great pre-built applications to get you up and running, head to Xamarin.com slash pre-built. And thank you so much.